big things happening this week. Hey guys, I just ended my last vlog here. I'm at the airport sitting on the curb right now and I am beginning my next vlog because I am in Japan, just landed, met up with my group, saw my friend, and now we are going out into the unknown, venturing into the unknown country of Japan, at least for me. I've never been in Japan. It's my first time here. The plan is... I don't actually know the plan. I don't know anything about what I'm doing this week. I'm here for six days. a and just hit me up and they're like, hey, you wanna go to Japan? And I'm like, hey, yeah, I do. I've never been, that would be great. And they're like, great, we'll create some sort of really cool trip for you and we'll get you there. And I'm like, great, sounds good. Here I am and I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing yet. They won't tell me because they want it to be a surprise and I love surprises. I like plans and I like being prepared for what's to come and knowing what I'm getting myself into. But at this point, I'm okay with going with the flow. I am the queen of D-gap but also the queen of going with the flow. I have everything handled for me, all the logistics planned out. I don't have to do anything. I just have to show up and be present, which I can do perfectly. I just have to make sure that my friend Steph is with me at all times. She's my plus one on this trip. So as long as I can see her in sight, then we're all good. I mean, I don't even know where my suitcase is. Like, whatever, I just have to make sure. I am vlogging with my vlog camera, and that's it, that's it, cool, I'm good, we're good. I gotta go find my group. It is time to go into Japan, let's go. Okay, so we are, in Narita, Japan, and it's pretty far from Tokyo. We have to take a taxi an hour into Tokyo. I don't even know where we're going. They won't tell me the itinerary because they want everything to be a surprise and they want my reactions to be genuine and excited. Of course I'm excited. I am like overly excited to be in Japan right now. <laughs> Who had any idea we're about to go on a helicopter ride? I'm so shocked right now. So this is a first. I've never been in a helicopter before. We are fortunate to be going on a ride all uh, around Tokyo, I think is the view. <laughs> I don't know, they don't tell me. I'm actually kind of nervous to go on a helicopter. Whoa, that looks like the Titanic. Is that the Titanic? Wait, is that the Titanic, dude? That's like Disneyland right there or something. Look who decided to show face. Uh, What's up? Yeah, dude, it's yeah, been yeah, a yeah, year. Yeah, it's been a year. So, so good to see you again. This is Kevin from Indonesia, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Link is down below just in case you want to check him out. He does speak in Indonesia. Though. What's the what's the Indonesian language again called? Bahasa Indonesia. Bahasa Indonesia, yeah. You, you were in landed? Singapore a year ago, huh? Are you from US or Philippines? I came from the Philippines. Okay. Representing the Philippines right now. So unfortunately, Steph can't join the helicopter ride because she ain't an influencer. Sorry, Steph. Well, at least you're here with me still. Supporter. I'll take photos and send them to you. Just soaking it in right now. I think we're like on the fringes of Tokyo. Look at this beautiful view. The ocean and the sky are the exact same color right now. Champagne to finish our helicopter ride. We're in the taxi, actually gonna get into Tokyo. We're gonna eat and drink as much as we can. It's like all you can drink for one hour, so y'all know what that means. We might lose ourselves in sake and Sapporo. Wrap it up like a burrito in one of 
<laughs> now entering. Oh, check out my room. This is amazing. Too cute. Look at these chairs. What's out here? Oh, there's a little light flooding like that. All right, let's check out my bathroom. It's enormous. This bathroom is too nice for one person. Where's Conley when you need it? Okay, what does this glass shade do? What? That's the glass? Look at that. Bathroom? Look at those cute little slippers. Oh my gosh, what? Let me guess. I just sit down and it flushes on its own. All of the controls you could ever want. And you never have to use one sheet of toilet paper. Maybe one, maybe a couple. Okay, well, Tokyo heaven right now. Japan heaven right now. I am in a slice of Tokyo, Japan, Japanese paradise. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, let's try this. This is a cloud. Time to go to sleep. Today has been absolutely unforgettable. So many firsts today. First time in Japan, first time on a helicopter, first time in Tokyo, above Tokyo. That was awesome. This hotel, by the way, is so cool because you can't wear your shoes anywhere in the hotel. You have to take your shoes off right when you walk in because the entire hotel is made of tatami mats. So you walk around in socks. So Japanese, right? My God, I look so tired. I look like I just woke up kid and I haven't even gone to sleep yet. This is that jet lag Hagarda Versosa decaf in to the max right now. Oh, I just checked the time. It's 2.30 a.m. I have to be up at 6.30 a.m. for a breakfast call. Okay, I really can't stand my eyes being so puffy. I'm gonna put my uh, my computer glasses on right now. <laughs> it's the only way that I can hide my uh, really tired jet lagged eyes. Before I go to sleep, before I go ahead and get four or three and a half hours of sleep, I'm gonna take a few moments to reflect on how much I made today count. Such a great day in Japan, lots of firsts. But the most important thing is that I'm healthy and I'm alive. I get to be here in Japan with a really cool group of people sent here by a really generous airline and a lot of people don't get to do these kind of things. So I'm very, very thankful that I'm here having a lot of fun and being able to have all these opportunities. This is a really cool city. It's a really awesome country that I'm so excited to explore and I get my own freaking room. Like this is amazing. Steph even got her own room. This is just, the accommodations, everything has just been over the top, so unexpected. And it's my first night here. I have one night here in Tokyo and then we're venturing out somewhere else. Not really sure yet, but I feel like I need to make the most use out of my bathroom. Like every time I'm in a hotel, I judge the hotel room on how nice the bathroom is. I highly appreciate that alone private time in the bathroom. Whenever I'm at my boyfriend's house, I'm always like, Connor, can you like just go away from the door and also just like go down the hall and maybe go into your room or maybe like leave the apartment and like go a couple blocks down. I need all the alone time I can get in my bathroom. Highly appreciate that time. It's really good thinking time and it's just really good on catching up on everything on my phone too, so. Okay, so we are at three and a half hours of sleep at this point. It is almost 3 a.m. and tomorrow I have to be, well, in a couple hours, I, I guess I could say. I have to be awake and efficient and productive and present. That is the most important thing, just be present. You are not guaranteed a future, but you are guaranteed a present. Okay, it's time to go to sleep. By the way, you like these? I just got these computer screen glasses. They filter out that uncomfortable, harsh light spectrum that computers glare, especially when I'm editing for hours and hours on end. It's supposed to not give you a headache, which actually it's working, and I don't know if it's placebo. You guys have any computer glasses? If you do, comment below. I think it really helps me. All right, anyway, it's time to go to sleep. Yeah, we gotta get to sleep. Look at his face. This, this, oh yeah, it's time to go to sleep. All right, good night, see you later, good night, bye. We are always running for the thrill of it, thrill of it, always pushing up the hill, searching for the thrill.